Hey guys, welcome to day two of our cold messaging training. Uh, I hope yesterday was super informative to you guys and I hope you kind of got out of your little bubble and realized that you can't put all your eggs in one basket. You can't, you know, um, you got to go for the no. You can't just sit around and, and wait to say the right thing. Um, so I hope that helped you yesterday. Today we're going to go over three more tips that I think are really, really important. And again, I'm getting a lot of this from this great book uh, by Romy that we're reading. I can't even pronounce her last name. Uh, but I love, love, love this book. And so I hope that if you've not thought about purchasing it, maybe you'll get it and, and you know, um, read it on your Kindle or whatever, but it's really, really good. So I'm pulling most of these tips from there and kind of, um, you know, modeling my training around that. So the first thing I want to talk to you about today and the very first tip I want to go over today is to be authentic. Guys, when you're posting or when you're reaching out to someone, you want to sound like you, okay? You're not going to sound like something I would say. Um, you're not going to sound like something that, you know, anybody else on our team would say. You're not going to, you know, try to sound like anyone in particular other than you. So if you don't say, hey girl, how's it been going? Then don't say that in your message. You want to be you and you want to be authentic and be real. No copy and paste. So, you know, all these messages that I'm going to maybe be giving you this week as examples, I do not want you to take those and just tweak a few words and send it. And I also don't want you to send the same message to more than one person. Guys, you've got to be authentic and be real. Be yourself. Don't be someone else. Be you. Sound like you. You know, the messages that you send need to be 110% authentically you. Whatever that sounds like. All right. The second rule I want to go over is less is more. All right, so in the very beginning of, of my journey, I was taught to give them all kinds of information. And I think in, for some people, maybe for greens, and if you don't know what that is, you need to find out about the four color personalities. But I think for sometimes for them, that might be good because they might want all that information. But guys, I can promise you that most of the population does not want to read a book that you send them. They simply want a little snippet. You don't want to word vomit all over them in a message, okay? You really want to be concise and clear in your messaging. You want to appeal to the prospect's appetite, Okay, and what do I mean by that? So for me, I'm a red blue. Again, if you don't know the four color personalities, you've got to read that book or learn about that online because I can tell you it has been invaluable to my business. But I'm a red blue. With that, I don't want someone sending me um, a million facts about the products, guys, because I don't really know a whole lot about the science, okay? I, I, can, I can talk to you a little bit about our products, obviously, because of the last three years of knowledge that I've obtained, but I don't really care about reading all about what's in Vital Biome, okay? So that's not gonna interest me. Guys, if I'm a yellow, I'm not gonna wanna read all about how much money you made last year, because that's not something that appeals to me. As a red-blue, I want to hear about the money that I can make, maybe how I can be successful in this business, the traveling that I can do, the trips that I can win, you know, the prizes that I can win, because that's my personality. So guys, you've got to know your subject, you've got to know your prospect's appetite before you ever make message them. But less is more. You don't want to write them this whole entire gigantic paragraph, um, you know, that it's going to take them a couple minutes to read because guys, you are trying to engage them and making them read a whole big paragraph is not engaging. It's just kind of time out of their schedule that they really don't want to take anyway. So less is definitely more. Ask yourself this question, am I talking too much? And if I saw this message, would I want to read the whole thing? Would I ever make it to the bottom? So ask yourself that before you send that message. Number three, and this is the final one for today, and I want to spend a few minutes on this one. Listen. Really, really listen. Okay? So I'm going to give you an example. I have a girl that I've been messaging with for several months, okay? At the beginning, she told me that she wanted energy. She wanted to feel better. She felt like she might be having some health issues. She wanted to feel better, and she really needed to make some extra money. They were building a house. And so I listened to that, and I said, okay, here's what I think you might want to start with. And then she told me no. She told me now wasn't the time. She told me that they were building a house and that they had all their funds wrapped up in that. And so guess what, guys? I followed up with her. 
I kept following up with her. I, I kind of did a, 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 a form of the three plus three plus three plus three months method that Laura Robinson talked about at Super Saturday. Uh, not exactly, but I just kept following up with her, guys. I sent her different, um, you know, you know, incentives that were being offered at the time, but I did keep following up with her. But I watched and I listened to what she said, and sh they got through building their house, okay? And um, I knew that maybe the timing might be better. And so I messaged her again, and guess what? The timing was right. But what did I say when I messaged her back? I said... Hey, friend, I won't say your name, but hey, friend, um, I know that we had talked several months ago about you wanting more energy and about, you know, you wanting to feel better and about you really wanting to invest in your gut health. And I know that you've been building that house, but I saw where you were finished building that house and now might be the right time for you to make some extra money to be able to put into that house. What do you think? Would you like to chat about it later this week? Guys, she messaged me back and said, you know what? Now is the time. Now is the time. I really do want to feel better. We're done building our house, and I'm ready to chat about it. Guys, we talked today on the phone, and she's signing up this month as an ambassador, and she wants to work this business. I had to listen. I had to really listen to what she was saying, what she wanted out of these products, and what she wanted possibly out of this business. And so, guys, I want you to think about that. I want you to use the methods that they talked about in Super Saturday, about repeating back to them what they wanted in the first place. So if it was energy or if it was, you know, that they wanted to um, lose some weight or maybe it was their migraines or maybe their thyroid or maybe they had an autoimmune disease that they wanted to find some relief from, whatever it was, I want you to really listen listen to them. I want you to take the time to stop talking and really figure out what it is that that person can use in our products or our business that will benefit them. So we want to take ourselves out of the middle of it and really think about someone else. Are you really listening and are you really learning your prospects. I hope this helps today. Guys, I'll bring you more tomorrow. Look for some extra videos today that I'll be dropping in the comments and look for some uh, cold message examples later today that I'm excited to bring you. Hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday.